God's promise to be fulfilled. And you are being planted, but you feel like you're being buried. Have you ever noticed that there is no difference in the motion between planting and burying? When you plant a seed, it feels buried. And even though he takes the seed and digs a hole and puts the seed down in the hole and covers it up with dirt, he's not a mortician. He's planted it and not buried it. And most of us think we are being buried when in fact we are only being planted. And when you are planted, that means you're going to get up again. And when you are planted, that means you're going to come forth again. And when you are planted, that means that this is not how the story ends. This is not the end. Don't run from it. Don't hide from it. Don't duck from it. Don't dodge from it. Don't run trying to get away from it because you are not being buried. You are being planted. Hard seasons for me honestly have been probably the most significant seasons of growth for me in my life. It wasn't the great times and it wasn't the good moments where I experienced the most growth. Now listen, I'm not praying for bad times and I don't love the hard seasons, trust me. And I'm not praying for hard seasons, okay? But I am just saying that when I look at my life, I have recognized already that the most significant growth has taken in places and seasons that were the most difficult. And so I'm, I'm changing and trying to change my perspective whenever I am in a hard season, whether it's relational, financial, whether it's about my purpose or my future, wherever I find myself, God, I'm changing my perspective because when I see and feel nothing and it's hard, I'm gonna believe in faith that God, you are up to something. We never pray for pain, we pray for blessing and favor. But sometimes God's favor is found in suffering. It's through pain we found salvation. How? Well, it started with the pain that Jesus experienced on the cross. You couldn't have been saved without pain. It's when you hit rock bottom and you realize that God was all you have. That's when you decide, well, that's, that's who I really need. Psalms 32, eight. It says, I will guide you along the best pathway for your life. God says, I will advise you and I will watch over you. It doesn't say I will guide you on the easiest and most comfortable path for your life. It says right now, I will guide you along the best path. I I'm wondering how many things God has kept us from while he's taken us on a harder path. I wonder how many things as he's taken us on the best path as we've prayed, how many people he saved us heartache from, even though it's taking a little bit longer. I'm wanting to learn to seek God's best path, not seek the easiest. Because it's in God's best where you're discovering your full potential. It's in God's best that you, you're being prepared for what's ahead. It's in God's best where there is full grace and full protection right where you're at. God's watching you and he's advising you. That's exactly how God works. And we need to realize that because sometimes we'll be in the middle of a storm, in the middle of a hard situation, and we'll be praying, God, take this storm away. That's a, of course that's how we pray. Why wouldn't you pray that? God, take the storm away. But what God does, he doesn't always remove the storm. Yet he does promise to walk you through the storm. David in Psalm 23 famously says, the Lord is my shepherd and I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures and he leads me to the still waters. And though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. That's an interesting verse there because David is essentially saying the same God that is leading me to green pastures and still waters is the same God that is leading me through the valley of the shadow of death. Same God. David is saying, I am learning to trust God, not complain, not get bitter, not give up, not quit. I am learning to trust God that he's with me. He's not forsaken me, though I feel lonely at times, though I feel like God has absolutely forgotten me. I am going to believe that just like he leads me to still waters, he is taking me through this hard season and he is preparing me for something great. He hasn't left me taking care of me. Listen to what David would go on to say. After you go through the valley, 
after the dark place. He says that God will prepare a table before you in the presence of your enemies and your cup will run over. That's a great promise, friends. Notice that you have to go through the hard season. You gotta go through it to get to the table. If there's a struggle, something's being set up. If there is a struggle, God is setting up something. Don't give up on the way to your table. Many people give up and they lose heart and they lose faith. Where is God? I don't see anything. And God is saying, listen, I've prepared the table. I am gonna take you through this valley. Stay in faith. Anchor and hope that I'm working and that I'm watching over you and I'm gonna provide for you. And I'm gonna set up a table for you to be refilled and refreshed. I'm gonna run your cup over in the presence of your enemies. It's the hard seasons that bring the most out of us. And in the moment, we may not always feel it and see it, but in hindsight, we see it's in those moments where we're stretched, our faith grows, we become the people God's designed us to be. We become the people that He wants us to be when we get to the table of blessing, the place where He wants to overflow our cup. Recognize that Christ lives on the inside of you. And though the season is hard, you have supernatural power in you to bounce back, to walk through this valley, not just struggling to struggle and I'm the victim and I'm gonna be bitter and I'm gonna complain, but no, put your shoulders back. Have hope in the hard times. Have hope in this season, knowing, not necessarily that, that you're gonna figure out how the promise is gonna come, that you're gonna figure out how God is gonna provide, but that you, you have hope because you know who your provider is. You may not know how you're gonna get to the table. You may not know how you're gonna get to the promise. You may not know how Goliath is gonna fall, but you can rest assured and have hope in who is your giant killer and who is the one that's going to escort you into the promise. And we need to be reminded of this. We know that God, He is always working. He is almighty, all-knowing, high and lifted up. His ways are higher than our ways and His thoughts are higher than our thoughts. What that means is that He's going to do things that we don't have the ability to understand. And that's unfortunate. We always want to know what's going on. What's the point of view? The thing is with God. He doesn't reveal the plan to us. He doesn't give us a manual with all the directions and all the things that we're going to experience along the way. What He gives you, He gives you the end of the story and a lot of promises that you can trust Him. What He gives you is a ongoing demonstration of his love for you. Like, how am I supposed to trust in his heart? People ask questions like this all the time. Why would God let this happen? What they're doing in that moment is they're questioning and doubting God's heart. They think, if my situation isn't good, does that mean that God's not good? We gotta trust his heart, because again and again he has proven his love for you. Starting with this, he sent his only begotten son to live and die for you. So don't fight the dark places, the hard times, grow in them. Don't fight them, grow in them. There may be dirt all around you, it's comfortable, but that dirt is not there to stop you. It's there to bring out the greatness in you. My encouragement is seek his best over easy. And when you do that, I believe that you'll reach your destiny. That in this season, when you seek his best and not easy, you will fulfill your destiny. You will go to new levels. You will pass tests. You will get what he was wanting you to get in this season for what huge things he has for you ahead. Let's trust him. Let's grow. Let's be mature believers. Amen. Please subscribe with my channel for motivation to your life.